All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers and we want to know what the next number in our series will be. So let's take a look at our transitions and try to recognize a pattern. Moving from zero to zero, we add zero. Moving from zero to one, we add one. From one to two, we add one. From two to three, we add one. From three to six, we add three. And from, three to, from six to seven, we add one. Now, as you can tell, the, these, this pattern does not seem to be pretty consistent, but let's see which transitions we cannot change. The transitions moving from zero to one, we cannot change in, besides this plus one. We cannot get from zero to one by multiplying or dividing. And we can also not get from two to three with a simple transition and also from six to seven. So therefore, the transitions in between should change to something more consistent for our pattern. So moving from one to two, we can multiply by two. And moving from three to six, we can also multiply by two. So let's see if our first transition from zero to zero can also be multiplied by two. And that is correct. So changing our transitions between this plus ones, if we change it to multiplying by two, our pattern seems to be more consistent. So we have a times two over here and a plus one that changes every transition. So our next transition, if we added one here, our next transition should be multiplying by two. So if we have seven times two, we get 14, which is going to be the next number in the following series. And this corresponds with answer B.